Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we're going to go over how I store my fountain pens and unbox a new case that I wanna share with you. So stick around. A little while back, I unboxed this beautiful Galen leather 10 pen case. And I did a whole unboxing and review on this, not sponsored, was not sent to me for free. It's just a really popular case that I saw everywhere on Instagram and here on YouTube. And I love green and I just thought it was really pretty. So I got this and it does live in my studio. I actually leave it unzipped most of the time so I can just easily access my pens while keeping them, you know, nice and safe. And when I published this video, a company reached out to me called Leather Neo and they asked if they could send me and by the way there is ink staining my finger here appropriate I guess for a channel about art art supplies and inks <laughs> so just bear with me on that but uh, out to me Leather Neo did and asked if I wanted to review any of their leather products and I said absolutely I actually need one more case and I wanted a journal cover for my B5 uh, Stalogy journal. So it has this really nice thin paper. I actually did my Van Diemen's ink unboxing and swatching in this beautiful paper. And I love that like crinkly sound it gets. So I wanted a leather journal cover and one more pen case. So I'm going to go over with you how I store my pens and unbox these items and I will be opening them with you. So these were sent to me for free, but this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid for this video and I was not told what to say. So let's unbox this together. Hold on. And then once we have this out, then we'll be able to look at both of my existing pen cases here. Um, one that I got from Etsy from a brand called Londo, the Galen Leather Crazy Horse Green and this new case. Now, ooh, 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 ooh. So here's a glimpse inside of how it's packaged. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, Whee! let's do this one first. Okay. Oh, you know, I'm gonna take it out of this plastic so we can see it. Okay, oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Okay, so hand-stitched with matching green stitching. They have, okay, this is already really exciting. So it has a brown cloth in between, you know, joining for the zipper. This one has green cloth, and this one has kind of a camel brown cloth. So this actually ties these together really nicely. I was wondering if having two greens. This is so soft, okay. This is definitely softer than the Galen. It's a different finish. I think the Crazy Horse is maybe already distressed. This feels very smooth, and this feels more like almost like suede. I don't know how else to say it. It's not obviously it's not suede. It's matte, but it feels like suede. So it has this nice matching green zipper cloth to help make it easier to open. And this is what it looks like inside. So it doesn't have a lining like this one has a velvet or velveteen lining. This is the inside of the raw leather. And it has this really cute little room for four pens. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a four pen straight up pen case to just because like I said, this lives in my studio. I'm very happy with this. So let me just get you the details on what this is called. So this is called the Mini Zippered Leather Pen and Pencil Case. It is $48 and it holds four pens and I like how just compact it is. I knew that it would be small, but here it is next to my scissor, just a regular full size scissor, if that gives you a sense of size here. And yeah, the, the texture is the thing I'm the most surprised by. I also really like that it opens so far, so it's really easy. It, it's just really flexible and really supple. I really like that, and I like that this leather matches on the inside. It has another little green leather, so I'm going to get some pens in that in a minute. But let's get this beautiful next item out. Whoa. Eee! I can see the engraving! Ah! Oh, this one feels good too. Okay. Smells so good in here right now. So I got Creating Cute Art embossed and grape. Look how pretty that is. That came out really good. So that's what that would look like. It is able to be personalized and most people do personalize. This one is called the Personalized Leather Journal with Lined Paper. And I liked that it had this tie 
just like a really easy tie. Now that I'm first playing with it and first messing with it, there are these little fibers that are coming off. So I imagine that'll happen just for a minute. Again, it just feels, holy smokes, it feels so good. This type of leather journal cover came in a ton of different colors, in a ton of different sizes. I hope this helps to show you, you know, the pen case, the little four pen case versus the size of this B5 leather journal cover. I have no doubt. I was worried when it was on the way, like, would it fit? I have no concern. It's going to fit that beautifully. But it comes with lined paper. So let's see what it looks like. Again, this like just beautiful, unfinished... I don't know how you would explain it. Look at that. You see? So it's not like lined with anything else. It's just what it is. It has these sewn in. Wow, this feels good. So we're going to test this paper. So far it looks good. It looks good like as far as thinness and smoothness. I like this cover. I like that it coordinates with the natural colors of the leather cover itself. But my goodness, like look at this. Look how many it comes with. Okay, so one, two, three, four. It comes with four of these, and they are sewn in. So when I'm done with these, see, they're sewn in. So when I'm done with these, I can snip this. I can snip each of these and just remove it and maybe thread something new through here, or if I want to keep the threading, and this is what I'll probably do, I will just cut the paper out and the in-between, like down here when I'm done and leave this as like a mini inside cover and then put my Stalogy like between these. So it'll it'll have even more protection between this and the leather. But that's really, okay. When it said it came with lined paper, I have to tell you, I'm surprised that it is flipping hand sewn in. I think that is so cool. But obviously this is like a forever leather journal cover. This is one of my favorite colors for leather, by the way, this sort of camely brown. It's so pretty. And it's just so easy to tie. I really liked that. You know, you can just that. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. It feels so good. So this one is $57 for this big size. And it comes in a5 and a6 as well. This is a small, very small business, so I feel really good about supporting them. For this Londo I got off of eBay on sale. So this actually is, this is a five pen case um, that I have three pens in right now, but it's a five pen case, very similar color as you can see. Same sort of finish on the inside. It comes also with a notebook, but just this little baby one. I do really like the paper in there. Uh, they make those in-house. And this is 50-something normally. So this is 50-something. I think, ooh, oh no. <laughs> that was actually my only downside of this. So look at this. It comes out. Because these are not elastic, they are leather. Once they get stretched out, they're stretched out. So my little decimo, which is pretty thin, See how much room? I'm like afraid to hold it like this. So it does slide out, but because I typically just leave this downstairs in my kitchen next to my journal, um, I don't have to worry about that because I'm not moving it around. Another reason I wanted this, and I'm glad that it has <laughs> elastic, because I like that about the Galen, that it has the elastic. It really does hold the pens in place. And I like that it stretches. So like, for instance, let me take my beautiful, one of my favorite pens, my Esterbrook Candy, Esterbrook SD Candy. Yeah, look at that. Plenty of room, like for it to hang out. Get this platinum. Okay. And then I have a lot of mini pens. I'm trying not to use the minis. Look how pretty. Okay, look how pretty this little set of pens is going to be. Okay, so we got this one. I'm trying to also use all full-size pens, which is, you know, hard for me because half of my pens are mini. <laughs> and these really don't take much doing to get it in the first time. Hold on. What a gorgeous set. Okay. Okay. And then I would just zip it. It does take a little bit of doing to zip the first time, and it, you can see it's a little puckered there. I think because that's a lot of big pens. Oh, and it opens so nice, and like I just love that they're just ready to go. So let me see if I alternated some of my mini pens in here. Oh, everything needs to go where it goes. Um, ooh, my gravitas. No, let's do my rose gold. Rose gold. 
little baby. And then another rose gold little baby. Okay. It has a moment of like, oh gosh, what's happening? Are they crushing each other? Yeah, that like zhuzhes a little bit more easily. Still puckers a little in the middle, but I think that's just because it's brand new leather. When I first tried to close this with 10 pens, it was it was a struggle. It was a struggle. So I'm excited that it just closes. And I would totally understand not wanting to like throw everything in here. But I really like that it has extra room, you know, even with everything in here. So let's see. Ooh. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. It goes so well. I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with how soft it is. I don't have any concerns about any of the stitches. Like nothing looks cheap. Nothing looks like it's going to fall apart. I will absolutely have to do an updated video for you all, like after having used it for a while, because this is a true unbox first impression. Um, I haven't used these, so I don't know how it'll end up, but I'm very happy with this, and I'm excited that I could, this could be my new sketching kit, like, on the go, and it's so much cuter and sleeker and goes so much better with my aesthetic than what I'm currently using as my throw-in-the-bag, <laughs> you know, bag. So I hope that this part was super helpful. Let's get some pens onto this paper and see how this B5 holds up. By the way, I might just leave this here because this looks like a delicious sketching setup to me that I can't wait to use, but I'm going to be using these for testing this paper, so we'll leave them out for now. Okay, so let's see about this paper. So opens flat. That is beautiful. Let's do some pen tests. Some pen tests. Oh my gosh, I love supplies. Okay, let me get so. Okay, fountain pen test. Wow, okay, that's good news. Let me show you if you didn't see. No bleed through, No, not even any ghosting. I'm going to have to ask them what kind of paper this is. Maybe it's on the website. Hold on one second. It doesn't say on the website what kind of paper it is, but I'm very much enjoying it right now, so I might have to reach out to them and find out. Here is a gold sparkle ink, so let's see how shimmers look on this paper. Okay, so far so good. Okay. That felt really smooth. It felt quite delicious. Let's see. Oh my gosh. You can see that, right? Look at those shimmers. Unbelievable. And then here's the back of the page. Not even any ghosting. Like, this feels fake. How? I mean, my Stalogy, huge ghosting to where you really struggle to write on both sides of the page. So I'm very happy with this paper. If, imagine if I didn't love this paper and all of this was sewn in. That would have been a bummer, but it's actually gorgeous. And this has, oh, you can't, wait, does it have ink? Oh, I'm so dumb. I cleaned it out. I'm so silly. I cleaned it out. I had Neko Yanagi in there. Okay, well, I was like, wow, the Neko Yanagi isn't showing up at all. <laughs> it's water. It's water. Let's try this giant broad nib on this Gravitas Skittles. Beautiful. Just gorgeous pen over the water. Hopefully that doesn't, yeah, the water really messed with that part. So ignore that. Ignore the man behind the curtain. Okay, I'm like writing at a funny angle, and then I got distracted by the light. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so self-conscious now about how I'm writing. I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> as far as showing off my handwriting, apologies. It's probably hard to look at for some of you with beautiful handwriting, but let's see with the light. Okay, and that's just blue cartridge ink. And this, again, that is a super juicy broad bib. No ghosting. No nothing, let alone no bleed through. The part that had water, you can kind of see... Other than that, you get nothing. So far, I'm very, very, very impressed. Let's. This is another sparkle ink in my Caveco All Sport Rose Gold. Pardon my horrifying nails. I really struggle to get nail polish off. This one has Diamine Magenta Flash, I believe it's called. Let's do Foxy Print. Yeah, that's a double broad nib. super juicy. And sometimes with print writing, you're writing pools. Let's do the sunlight. Even though it's a funny... Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Look, at, First of all, look at that Esterbrook shining. That has diamine golden sands mixed with KWZ old gold to get a more legible gold. And man, oh man, is it. But yeah, look at it in these 
in these samples. Super cool. And then here's the backside in the sun. So you know there's no messing around. Like in the sun, if it's going to show, it's going to show. Nothing. Speaking of my beautiful Pilot, this is my STA's Blue Gradient in medium, my Decimo. Pilot Decimo. So this is a gold nib. And this is the first gold nib pen. The other ones were gold plated, like color, not, they were steel nibs with gold look. Here is a real gold nib. This one has Lamy Amazonite. Let's see it in the light. There we go. That's nice. Oh, these look great. I'm really happy with these. The whole reason I got the Stalogy was for the paper because it's so fountain pen friendly. And this is super fountain pen friendly. So I think now what we have to do is see how long it will take me <laughs> to use that. Because that's a hunker. And I write every day. I do morning pages. So I, I don't doubt that I'll be able to, to use this bad boy up. And then I'll still need my nostalgia to go in. And the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking maybe I want to use this for my beautiful pilots. Because they don't fit easily anywhere else. And I want them together. And they're just so, oof. they're so pretty. So let's see. And then when they close, they don't touch because they're on opposite sides of the pool. OMG, I love it. And these are the pens that I'm most likely to want to take out and about because they are so easy to take notes with because they click instead of twist. So let's take one more look at this leather and this sunlight. So it is absolutely going to patina over time. That's the nice thing about leather. Same thing with my, actually, the Londo leather. So this came looking like this, although it wasn't as smooth, um, and now has all of these scratches and things. And again, this has just looked in my house. It hasn't even gone in my purse yet. So that's what happens with leather. That it ages over time. And I actually really love that. So this is going to definitely have that, especially because a journal is going in my purse. 100%. How awesome is this? Oh, the sun's back. Awesome is that? I love that. And I love that sort of when I'm out and about and journaling at coffee shops and stuff, I'm representing my cute art. <laughs> I'm representing my cute art. <laughs> I'm representing my little TV show here. So um, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I'm obsessed. I'm really excited. I love how soft these are. Oh, final cost comparison. So like I said, this one is in the 50s, but it actually starts at 30. You can get a smaller one for 30 and they have a bunch of different styles. They've got travelers, journal, notebook covers and everything handmade. Um, okay. Yes. This one is 57, including the personalization. This one is 48 and this is 58, the Galen leather 10 pen case. And this one was 56 before, but I got it on sale for, and I'm, I'm just disappointed in how these pen holes work because a chunker, you know, you get one chunker in there. Like this is a super chunky Opus 88. And once that's gone in, it stretches it out for everything else. But it is really nice and compact, and I like having a little mini thing. Um, but this does come much smaller, so that's nice, too. And if you're going to get any sort of pen case, I highly recommend that you get that sort of elastic solution, because that really solves that problem. I'm loving how those look. Um, so, wow, I just have to tell you, like, I don't know how else to tell you, this is so soft. I'm loving it. I love how pliable it is. I wonder... Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's like, um, if it would be wise to like put like an eyeglass cloth here if I did want to put more pens to like just put an eyeglass cloth in or something just so that they don't. Yeah, actually, that works great. OK, well, that answers that. And maybe in future they'll give you like a little green eyeglass case material cloth to just shove in between. But that seems to really I'm not hearing any metal on metal with that. So that's a solution. If you did want to purely do pens in this pen case, um, that's something you could do. The other thing is I see a lot of people with the Galen Leather Zip and Slip, and I specifically thought of this as another option against that Zip and Slip because you could just leave it open like this on your desk, you know? Just full of your unicorn pens, your four currently inked. Leave it there. I take six to eight pages of notes a day during work, and I will go through a pen fill just taking notes at work between my morning pages, journal entries, my reading journal, taking notes for work. I mean, I go through pen fills. I, I move through ink. So that is another option is just to leave it kind of beautiful leather 
case open on your desk like that, just like I leave this sort of open like that on my desk. So this is easier to actually reach in and grab. I'm very happy with both of these. I'm, I cannot stand how pretty that is. Let me know what you guys think. Do you love these items? What of all of these pen holding solutions that I have, you know, look coolest to you or look most relevant to you? They obviously have much bigger cases than this, but I didn't need a bigger case when I was you know, ordering from them, I just needed a smaller one. So I'm really happy that this now means all of my pens have a home. <laughs> one way or the other, all my pens have a home. The bigger pens can go in the stretched out one. Um, what do you guys think? What do you think of the Leather Neo products? Do you think that they're well-priced? I'm loving how, I, I, you can probably tell I can't stop touching them. They're just very smooth. They're smoother somehow. I don't know if they're just finished differently, but they feel more pettable, if that's a word. <laughs> I want to pet them a little more than I want to pet these, like a lot more actually than I want to pet these. These are beautiful and I'm very happy with them, but these just have a different feel that I'm very into as a very sense oriented person. So let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment for me below on what you thought. Check if you're subscribed and if you're not subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Until next time, remember, create something cute.